enjoy this in the achievement guide for episode 4. Due to the highly randomised nature, I don't know which achievements I'll be getting. Uh, but obviously they'll be in the title. The idea of this one is you want to get four four petrol cans and stick them all into the into the van. Uh, the chicken feed. Go into the house. And as you can see, there's a bear trap to the right. Uh, there's also a rug to the left. Sometimes there are holes under the rug, so if you just throw our chicken feed, and as you can see, it's disappeared. So if we just walk up and down the porch, and then... Okay, we've got two lesbian sisters. We don't really have the weapons to deal with them. Unfortunately, due to the bear trap, we don't have a choice, so we're just going to have to run through. Hope for the best. Try and get up the eight fucking in the arse. Okay, so we've got an old man. Uh, oh shit, there's a. Yeah, a dangling sword. Now this old man should get up and we can just smash him in. And if you can pick up the enemy, then they're dead. Oh fuck, that rat scared me. Um, now one of the secret switches are here. You just press X on that and it opens up the door. Now you always want to peek through, as you can see, I'll match the weapon to a room with the pig guy. I would call it Pigsy, but I'm pretty sure that's a, a rock star character from Manhunter, let's call it Hogsy. Um, my character is pretty fucked up right now. Now something I've discovered, or at least I believe I've discovered, uh, for myself at least, is if you leave one of the characters, if you decide to switch to another character whilst one of the other characters are in the house, the giant rats come and attack you. Um, unfortunately my cat is pretty fucked at this point. So it's either push onward. I mean, I've got to do, I've got to deal with two people anyway, so making a retreat might be the best idea at this point. Just because. I want to try and get them to, to line up with each other. That might be a little, little difficult to do. Fuck, let's just try and escape. Luckily, we managed to get out. Now, this person's heavily damaged, as you can see. So, I recommend just getting her to sit in the van. And switching to a different character. Unfortunately, the two lesbian sisters are still there. I heard that actually spooked me for a second. Uh, unfortunately, we've got the two gay brothers, I guess. Hey, whatever. Um, I don't know if they're actually brothers. They don't, don't really look like brothers. Anyway, push through. And now we're in the basement. And there's also the spanner, which I believe the spanner is to be one of the best, best weapons in the game. Now, there's the, the machete is possibly the second best weapon in the game. Um, although it doesn't it doesn't break or, or anything, so you could say it's the best depending on how you want to look at it. Um, so we're going to leave the killer to his own. Oh fuck! I didn't see that shotgun there. Uh, that thing there's a, a hypnotizer. Uh, it hip hypnotizes the giant rats. Now here's the key to get to the petrol, uh, we've got a shotgun shell, anything else. Now the key will always be in one of the chest of drawers, and that allows us to get this, this petrol can. And there's the chicken feed to be threw down this hole. Um, uh, this cat is highly damaged as well. Uh, I think I've got to get past two, two brothers there. Right? There's another shotgun shell, a molotov, that's going to be handy and a pig carcass, because why not? Now, if I'm lucky, I can turn that water off without them noticing. There we go. 
Now, the second thing I want to do is I want to grab the Molotov. Let's move that shit out of the way. Grab the Molotov and then cook them alive. Burn. Because now that now that I've turned the water off, they won't be able to do anything. So let's just let them cook. And they're both definitely dead, but that guy's by the door, so I'm gonna have to wait for him to cool down. Just wait for this stuff to to end. And that guy's dead. Oh fuck, I forgot about the lesbian sisters. Okay, um I don't know what this is. Is it a flare? I think it's a flare. Got it. There we go. That was lucky. So we can set these people alight as well now. And just let them cook. So despite my characters being two of my characters being gravely injured, this run is actually going pretty well. As I said, this is this level is entirely luck-based, really. Um, so we want to stick stick this in the van, and also get this person to get in the van as well because we're two people are critically injured. Uh, you may have better luck than I I do. Uh, we don't really need to go this way again. Um, if there's a throwing weapon, if there's something I can use to throw. Let me go inside. Let me see if the killer's room. The killer's room's alarmed. Okay, so I need a, a proper throwing weapon, really. I don't really want to risk it with nonsense. But if I manage to get that machete, then that would have been ideal. Uh, I need a corpse to throw on the bear trap. So we just throw throw that. I'll close that up and see what we do. Okay, these fellas are going to the right so they won't see us. Old lady however. Now she can't do any good she she can't do any damage to us. Um unfortunately I don't have a weapon to knock her out before she sounds the alarm. Uh, so let's look for a weapon quickly. I apologise. I need a real weapon. Mm, nothing in there. There might be something. I might have left something in the... Nope, just a bag of chicken feed. Okay, well we got a shotgun shell. I think we got two actually. Somewhere. Uh, so if we just take... Take the shotgun shell. And along we go, along we go. Get a shotgun. Now I believe there's only two shells on this level, unless you get the mystery box, in which case then you can get quite a few. So we're gonna skip these guys because they're not looking at us. Now my plan is to blast this woman into that where the other shotgun shell is. And if I touch that shotgun shell, that trap underneath will close on her. Hopefully, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Oh no, I killed her with one shot. Alright, never mind. Um, so we've got the shotgun loaded up. Uh, we've got a, a tomahawk, another tomahawk, and that's it. And here we are. So this one has actually gone incredibly well. Despite my cat just being to my cat being critically mauled. So let's go inside. Uh, up here. And this is. We haven't sounded the alarm, so we've got the achievement for getting into the attic without sounding the alarm. Now, as you can see, there's a petrol can in there with the rat. So we're going to need to sound the alarm eventually, um, but for now we're fine. Now we need to get this this pregnant lady. We need to get her out. Uh, that's another another achievement. 
Uh, I'm kind of forgetting the names of the achievements, but I'll stick them in the title anyway, so you'll know exactly which ones. So you carry this, this pregnant lady out, and all you need to do is take her to the van and just drop her, and then she'll end up on the roof. Now, providing you complete the level and you drive out of this place, you'll get the achievement for saving her. Um, now then, I just need to... Let's take this. Hopefully, I'm hoping the chickens if I've set this off. There's no way to get down, not on one. Okay, well, the track is um, fucked anyway. And this guy is fucking himself. We've got a tomahawk, so I could throw that in. Um, yes, so right now we need the petrol can. Which is going to be pretty hard to get with those rats in there. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to take care of every killer because once the once we sound an alarm, that's the only way to get the rats. If you find the rat mask, then the rats won't attack you, which is the best the best way. Um, so, I think the only guy that's left is the, the killer, this, this clown guy with a machete, but he never leaves the basement. Uh, there's a the hypnotizer. So, I could try something risky. Pick up this hypnotizer and take it with me to the rats. Usually I wouldn't recommend doing doing this, I'd, I'd get the get the mask and then the rats will because this is this is only for a limited time. And I'm not quite sure what that time limit is exactly. Um, I want to take care of this guy though. So if I can take the top of 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 the top Actually, I think I'll, I'll take the shotgun and I'll deal with the guy in the basement. And I'll tell you why that is. Because he drops his machete incredibly easily. And the machete being pretty much the most powerful weapon. We can just get this guy, shoot him in the face, pick up his machete and instantly just mash him because he has so much health. There we go, he's dead. So just mash the shit out of him. Away we go. Oh shit, is it the right way? Get disorientated now. Okay, so we'll go outside.